The hell are you supposed to be? I'm vengeance. I'm thirsty. There we go. What's up, guys? AW Aaron Warrior. What's up on the Saturday afternoon? March 23rd, 2024. How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all doing good. Hope you're having a good uh, Saturday. And maybe if you're watching from the other parts of the world, maybe it's Sunday. But I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to Let's Talk Pop episode 78. Yes, it's episode 78. This should be episode 79. But the last episode that was 78 was blocked for wide, so it's not public. Publicly, it's basically the public can't see it. And why is that? Let me go see why it's not, why it was blocked. Blocked. Let me look. Copyright material. Star Wars Celebration Europe 2023 trailer. That's the reason. That so it's really nothing to do with with villagers. It has something to do with the acolyte trailer. I get. Oh man, that's the reason why. Yeah, it's Disney. It's Disney. It's Disney's fault. Blame Disney. I'm sorry. So yeah, this will be episode 78. Uh, I'm sorry if you can't. And that was a really good stream too. I thought it was a really, really good stream. Uh, sadly, sadly. It was a short stream, but I thought it was a really good stream. Oh well, it happens. It happens. I, so yeah, this is episode 78. And before we get to episode 78, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment below. Do all that, please. And um, comments, oh, well, comments in the section, and if you're watching a replay, comment down below. Yes, I am. That's what I mean. All right. All right, so. Yeah. So, welcome. Let's talk about 78, 22 away from 100. That's a long way off. Probably not till summertime. Before we get to episode 20 to 100. It was almost, it was around April slash May when I started the, yeah, April slash May when I started this, so. so welcome to Let's Talk Pop, so yeah, all right, 78 episode, should be 79. All right, all right, I'm gonna, all right, all right, so, yeah. The Penguin trailer dropped yesterday. I did the video on it that dropped earlier today, about an hour, an hour before, premiered an hour, about actually 50 minutes ago. Go check it out if you want on my chan on my channel, on this my channel that's watching this live stream on. I have my reaction to it. Well, actually, it's not really a reaction because I seen it yesterday, so more of a little bit of a. What, what was a brilliant Twitter and to give you a little information on the trailer and little a uh, little bit of what the Twitter is about what is what it what what is leading what's leading this show is gonna be about with the ping that's the trailer uh, on that okay uh, so there's a video about that I made go check it out check it out. And we're going to talk about it again on this stream. This is going to be a lie this time, buddy. Lie. Not video. Lie. Checking my phone. All right. Okay, guys. Well, 
Okay, so let's bring it up. Let me bring it up. There's some. All right. And there's other things to talk about. Also, a little bit Marvel news. Not much Marvel news. And we'll talk. We'll talk Ghostbusters. But the thing is, I don't know what much to say about Ghostbusters. I I'll let you know before I go on the the thing. What I have not seen Afterlife. Okay, Frozen, Frozen, Frozen Empire. Sorry, I have not seen Frozen Empire. I was gonna go yesterday. I actually had tickets for yesterday, but it was it was really be snowing badly and stuff. So yeah, in the afternoon, um, didn't did sign said not to go. So I'm gonna try to see it Tuesday, Tuesday for a discount price because you know Tuesdays are Tuesdays are discount price. So I'm gonna try to see it Tuesday. That's why there's no spoiler review on this on this show. Typically, I would do a spoiler review after a movie I've seen on this talk pop. I'm not doing it today because obviously, like I just said a second ago, I have not seen Frozen Empire, and I want to see it. Don't get me wrong, I want to see it, despite being being mixed reviews and despite cinema score giving it a B plus for some reason any movie under A minus or A a cinema score is bad. B, a B any movie that gets a B plus a cinema score is considered an F. But whatever. But so but, but the thing is we're gonna talk about the money, the how much it's made so far. And well, it's not gonna make a lot of mo money. It's, I think this is. Um, I think it's gonna make a decent amount of money. I think it's gonna make. I don't think it's gonna make five hundred, six hundred million, but I think the movie, like seriously, could make three hundred, four hundred million. I think oh, it's gonna pass. It's gonna pass. Um, it's gonna pass, Madam Reb. It's gonna probably be. It might be a second. High grossing film of. Of 2024 behind Doom. That's what I think it's going to end up right now. But we'll get into that a little bit later on. As this is about the ping one. The ping one. Oswood Cobblepot. Playing, being played by Colin Farrell. In his own show, the next chapter in the Batman saga. Helmed by Matt Reeves. Matt Reeves is Matt Reeves is Batman Universe. So yeah, okay. I yes, so you saw the video I did earlier. If you saw the trailer, okay, so I like this trailer. I like this trailer. I mean I I definitely biased here. I said in that video that I posted an hour ago. <laughs> That it's to me, to me is my most want to see streaming show of this year, because obviously, if you can't tell by now, by now on the on on these streams or videos that I make over the months and years, you can tell me he was Batman fan. So yeah, I'm a little biased. Okay, I admit it, a little biased. Okay, but we really dig. I mean, it was a teaser trailer. It was a short trailer. It wasn't right. It was a teaser trailer. It was about basically all to come about the penguin describing describe what 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 his plans are. Okay, for Gotham. Okay, why he's doing this? Why he's doing this? And it kind of ties into. What the penguin is really all about in comics and, and some iterations, comics and even the penguin, even uh, Batman Returns, even the animated show, it kind of, it kind of goes into line with those. The same premise, the same, uh, not I, the idea, even the Gotham Show, the idea of the also call about what his reasons for um being respected, respected. It kind of goes around. Kind, it kind of goes with all basically all interpretations of the penguin, despite what the penguin looks like. Whether it's just a short man with an umbrella, 
the uh, top hat or whatever who talks like a talk like some class like he's upper class you know with politeness or so-called politeness but really isn't you know still but snobbiness or is rather the ghost tax the ghost the ghost version of penguin where you see him with um flippers and hands and the nose kind of like Danny DeVito the Danny DeVito's penguin right and the animated penguin kind of mixed both of them right the animated penguin put two different kind of ping all the couple together right the, the hands the um the nose stuff but also later on later on when they, when they introduced iceberg lounge that the, the kind of the snobbiness you know kind of the upper upper class kind of penguin you know right right you know what i'm talking about right the kind of the, the animated show kind of mixed both of them into one but all all penguin iterations all have one thing in common it's about it, penguins all about respect it's all about that's all about all about all about all about one thing it's about respect because Because all alliterations have one thing in common with the penguin. Another thing, penguin. Just ugliness. 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 That he's an ugly person. An ugly human being. Despite what Tim Burton in the animation show, animation show made penguin look like. And also with the, the comics and some other versions make him look. He's ugly. And ugly. That's, all, that's what they try to do. And the way for him to get respect is to make a name for himself, right? Make a name for himself. And I like to say I did the grassy. Okay? And so, and the penguin is like, the penguin is not dumb. Oswald Kaupa is not dumb. You know he's not dumb. Oh, Star Girl? I haven't seen season three. But okay, so in this trailer, we get also Cobblepot describing a former mobster that died. That died when Cobblepot was 14 years old. But he described this mobster as someone who got respect, who demanded respect and died of honor, died with respect among the, right? Like there was like a parade, despite him being a mobster, right? But there was respect. And Cobblepot in that trailer, you know what? Be right back. Sorry, I had to get a little sunlight, huh? Instead of light. <laughs> So where was that? Okay. So in that trailer, he's uh he's describing that that mobster when he was young and how that mobster got respect and was paraded around like like a a legend or whatever among the communities that uh Oswald Cobblepot is part of, whatever. So you know where he grew up. So he looked at that and he wanted that. He wants that respect. He, he wants that respect. Right? He wants that respect. And that's Penguin in a nutshell. Not the show, but in general. Because he knows. He knows. He knows. Oh, yeah. He knows. Nobody's going to respect him because look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Yes, he looks more human in this move in this universe than he does in some iterations. But he still looks pretty ugly, right? He looks ugly still, right? Who loves a, face, a man with a face like that? Who's gonna respect it? Who's gonna want that as a leading the mob, leading the mob, whatever? Who's gonna want that? Who's gonna want the guy? Do you, right, right. Nobody's gonna respect. Nobody's gonna respect him, man. No. No other mob mobsters, 
different kind of families are going to respect someone like that. So he has to make a name for himself and demanded with fear and, and intelligence, cleverness. He has to do that, right? He has to, right? And that's why you see, obviously, there's other powers at play. I saw woke bosses. <laughs> I saw uh, other powers at play. You saw, obviously, the, if the, hey, Carmine Falcone is dead, but the Falcone crime family is not done with. It's not done. The, the Falcones, the, his kids are involved. I'll show you a picture in a minute. I, I haven't seen the picture of the son, Alberto Falcone. I only saw a picture of, uh, there's only, they only showed up, Sophia Falcone. Okay. Um, so, I know Alberto Falcone is supposed to be the holiday killer with that. She's, he's the one with the, the illness and stuff. Where Sophia Falcone in the comics is more of a, she's in the, the thing, and the, and the thing is, the thing is, Sophia Falcone in the comics and and the show, they look totally different. Sophia Falcone in the show looks more like a manipulator with the talent and stuff than in the, than in the comics. In the comics, she looks like someone's going to kick your ass. You know, she's ugly, big, she's big, ugly. And someone's like, looks like a, a dumb brute, a, a female dumb brute. There's not a lot of them, trust me. They, so they kind of changed Sophia Falcone. She's gonna be more of a manipulator. Someone just wants to take over the family, right? She's always been the, but she's not. She's actually not dumb in the comics. But she's always been the stronger of the siblings. Uh, Carmine Falcone always treated his son because he's weak, weak, and couldn't see his son as winning the Falcone crime family. More like the daughter. He saw the daughter more when he liked it. And that possibly created when the possibly created the holiday killer or whatever the long Halloween. Whether it's Gilda or, or more there probably be more than one holiday killer. Long long Halloween. And then yes, yeah, so he Penguin is gonna have to battle with that for control. And then see see I have pictures right here. Here's Sophia Falcone. Sophia Falcone. She looks nothing like the comic book version, right? She's not big, like someone's gonna choke you out. Um, right? Okay. And that, it's not, obviously we know, uh, Another care, another prominent mobster from the Batman lore is in the film, and that's Clancy Brown, who's going to play Carmine Falcone. Now, Carmine Falcone, prominent, not Carmine Falcone, Salvatore Maroney, Salvatore Maroney, the creation, create, helped create Two Face, right? He is the one in the comics that spilled the acid on two on Harvey Dent's face during the trial, whatever, where he was going to testify, right? But he went against that, and, um, because he was secretly having a kind of an affair with Sophia Falcone in the comics. If I'm correct, I think they were having kind of an affair. I don't remember somebody could correct me if I'm that. Correct me if I'm that, if they were having an affair or a little relationship. So, yeah, that's a, and that's a prison that's a prison scene. Obviously, I don't think it's Arkham because Carmine, uh, Carmine, mobsters, the mobsters in the bath, Batman lore usually end up in Black Gates. They don't end up in Arkham because they're not technically insane, right? They're not insane. Most of them end up in Black Gates. So I would assume this is Black Gate, not Arkham. Because Arkham is designed for the insane. So I would assume this is Black Gate if you're going to introduce Black Gate. Right? Yeah. And this is maybe Cobblepot trying to pick up some pointers or trying to align himself with Maroonie. I don't know. Why, why would he go visit him? He knows, Maroonie knows he got screwed over. And why would Maroonie trust Cobblepot? Uh, we don't know. Obviously, Maroonie has no love loss for the Falcones. Okay. 
Now, okay, so we have no obviously, right? Now, the thing is, the thing that's so weird about the show that the pink one acts like, an, like a stereotypical Italian mobster, right? The way he talks, the way he acts, right? Right? The thing is, the problem is, his name is not Italian. Oswald Culpa is not an Italian name. Okay? Oswald Culpa, I believe, is an English name. Okay? And if you look at the iterations where he's more of the, the one that's running the iceberg, stuff like that, he kind of is like, kind of inherits that English snobbiness. You know how, you know the English are perceived as snob? I'm sorry, anybody from England that's going to take offense at that, but yeah. But yeah, Brown's and a lot of stuff. Yeah, a lot of DC stuff for sure. The thing is, Culpa is not, he actually is Italian in this universe, but he's not Italian. The name is not Italian. Now, maybe he was adopted and raised by Italian? I don't think so. Because the, in the comics, oh, well, they could change it up. It's a different thing. In the comics, they do explore his family at times. In the new 52, they kind of explored his family. He uh, kind of explored his detail, his mother a lot. Uh, <laughs> right? Because when I think of Penguin, I mean, of course, this is a version of think, different version. When I pick, think of Penguin running the Iceberg Lounge, I think I think of him having high class people involved uh, visit and be like, ah, oh, Miss Kyle, welcome for you to be here. Ah, something like that, right? He's snobby, but he's a little bit of class involved, but like you're not like, you know what I'm talking about. Just that, he doesn't have that, doesn't have that. Now, obviously, it's going to be very different. <laughs> okay. Obviously, acts like that just to you know, to be a so uh, a, a nice, courageous, uh, not uh, a a good host. But people know he is really scum, and so. Obviously, he's going to have obstacles in his rise to power, trying to be the lead, I'm going to say, lead kingpin of Gotham City. Right? Be the number one mobster in Gotham City. Obviously, try to win everything from the criminal underworld. That's his obstacle, right? Because others are going to take power. Once Falcone Coney was out, once Falcone was Coney was the pants, he was the big guy running, was the big mobster running everything in Gotham. Right? As you remember from the Dark Knight Rises, so the Dark Knight Rises. What the fuck? Jeremy Renner's not dead. Jeremy Renner's not dead. <laughs> we would have known by that. Um, Dark Knight Rises, Dark Knight, you remember all the mobsters, right? They met. Okay. So, since, since we're killing these out, Different gangs are going to try to be buying, fighting for power. And Cobblepot wants to be the one who has the most power when in Gotham criminal underworld. And he has, obviously, the other others, buy, others fighting for the power. But there's one major obstacle in the way. One major obstacle in the way. And that's the man who he was he's afraid of. Upside down in the car, upside down in the car, and that's Batman. Batman. Yes. The thing is, this time, he's going to go up against other mobsters, other people by, fighting for the power of Gotham. But there's one man, there's one man that's a major obstacle in the way, and that's Batman. 
Batman. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you in this film, the show, not the film, we might see Batman. May, apparently, Batman Bruce Wayne will probably be in it. They'll, they'll, they'll most likely be in it. Like I, I'm 99% sure they'll be in it. And they're going to talk about Batman and Bruce Wayne. They're going to talk about how, how you think you should be scared of us? <laughs> you think, no, you should be scared of Bat. The Bat. The Bat. The Bat is the one you really should fear. Because with, with a more experienced Batman, now this might take this kind of takes place right after the Batman, obviously. But if you if you learn at the end of Batman, Batman goes through a lot of character development, right? Experience wise, he'll be a lot more challenging. He'll be a lot more. He'll be a lot be more smarter. He'll be a lot, be a lot more calmer in some aspects, and he'll a lot be more prepared, prepared. And he will make sure he couple up my by ways to the power on the show. How? You know, this is what I would do at the end of the show. Honestly, my last episode, the last episode, Cop Up Rises to the Power, and the last scene, the last scene, I have Batman appearing in front of his office, take down all his goons, and be like, I'm watching you, Cop Up Rise. I'm going to take, I'm going to make sure you go down. I, I have Batman, I would, I would give him a fair warning. You haven't met. And because we know. We know eventually Cobb is going to be taken down, right? It's going to be the rise of the power, but as the Batman universe expands past the Penguin, maybe the Batman 2, maybe another show of Batman 3, if we get to that point, we know the Penguin's going to be taken down. They're going to, they're going to, they're going to take down the Penguin, Cobb Park. Eventually, it's all going to happen. Okay. Now, now with the with the with with all these certain characters that were had, were instrumental with um, Long Halloween and eventually Long was a Long Victory, uh, something like that. Uh, I kind of agree with Degrassi on uh, on my video. I saw what you put in the comments about Dent. I think they are going to introduce Harvey Dent, Two-Face. They kind of need him for this. I think they still need a new DA. <laughs> new DA. Now, obviously, the way if they're gonna make Harvey Dent into Two Face, they gotta do something different than than uh, what's it called? Aaron Heckers, the Dark Knight's character. Do something different. Now, the thing of Aaron Eckhart's character, I love. He was a good Two Face, but it was different. He didn't have, he didn't have the multi personality disorder. This thing. All right. Now, look, look. Some people, there, some people get very sensitive when they introduce mental illness in these movie in the, some of these movies stuff like that but it's a comic book movie mostly a, comic, a lot of Batman villains have different illnesses man mental illnesses Harvey Dent has the has a, a legit illness a legit disorder okay I'm I'm okay with that okay I'm okay with that. Explore that. Because it's very important. Now the thing is, the thing is, when he gets that when he gets the burn on his face and whatever, that can't just be that can't just be all of a sudden of all of a sudden he has um personality disorder. No, no, no. No. The personality disorder has to be from Building up inside be before that has to be from birth and stuff. Has to be born with a disorder. Okay, you can't just get all of a sudden from that. 
Okay. I do too. I do too. He can't just. He has to have it really brewing. In, brewing. There's a sword brewing inside of it, inside of his mind. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Arnold Wesker. Yeah. Stuff like that. And if you look at the anime series, when Harvey Dent, he talks about big bad horror. Like he has a vicious, he has a vicious side to him, like another vicious side to him, right? But it doesn't, he doesn't really fully break until he becomes Two Face. <laughs> Be a scar tissue inside the penis that the causes curse fatal reactions. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> okay. The reason why, the reason why I have no problem with mental illnesses among villains or heroes in these in these movies or exploring them, exploring them, is because real life is like that. Real life is like that, and it's and there's gray in a lot of things. Comic books, comic books, yes, comic books is mostly shades of gray. Okay, a lot of shades of gray involved. Okay, and so they're gonna obviously introduce Two Face, right? Two Face, Two Face. Now they might introduce a new. Oh no, no. Okay. Now my hot take here is. Now this is not from the comics or anything like that. I wonder if Penguin and Sophia Falcon had like a relationship at some point. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying they got an idea, uh, a theory possibly if if Sophia Falcon and Penguin had a relationship at some point in this, in that universe. Because Sophia Falcon, like the Penguin in the comics, was no, was not. Not 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 something you look not something you look like right no like seriously it's like like she was not exactly <laughs> she was not exactly someone you want to you want to go out with <laughs> but she sure was dangerous and crazy and she was big in the comics and this Sophia Falcone I think will be more of a manipulator. And gangster panel vibes, yeah, vibes. Okay. Sophia felt. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Now. Now, here's a thing where I don't know what they're going to talk about. Are the Falcons, the sister in the show, are they going to talk about Catwoman? The Catwoman's not going to be in this, right? But, does, that, does Lita Kyle have a say in the Falcone um, lin, uh, family lineage or whatever? Uh, whatever uh, does she kind of have something to say? Yeah. We know Catwoman left Gotham with the Bloodhaven. But if you really think about it, whenever we get to the end of this universe, Catwoman is coming back. Catwoman is coming back. A 
Okay. Selena Kyle. All right. All right, so yeah, that's um, uh, the Batman trailer. I like the trailer. I'm hyped. It comes out in the fall of the show. No specific date in the fall. They didn't give us a date, but it's coming out in the fall. The teaser trailer. Is this a teaser trailer? We'll get something closer, closer as time goes on, right? Time passes by, we'll get stuff in a wheel trailer. Wheel trailer. But yeah. It's very Godfather. I want it's very Godfather like if you ask me. More like that. I'm sorry if I'm scratching my arm. I'm a little itchy, guys. Okay. All right, man. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, let's move on to some Marvel stuff. Not a lot to say about Marvel, but there is some Marvel stuff. Uh, let me see what I have for Marvel. Okay. Anthony Mackie. Okay. Anthony Mackie is disappointed that Captain America Brave New World won't include Sebastian Stan and Daniel Brule. Okay. So he's upset they won't have him in it. You won't have Bucky or or Zemo. I understand. I guess I can see where he's coming from because like spending a lot of time with them or right, together on sets during the Marvel movies that they worked on or the show they worked on together. I see they bonded. But I, but uh, I think it's a good idea because I think with Captain America, Sam Wilson's version of Captain America, compared to uh, Bucky and Zemo, I think they were going. To, they were clearly going in a different direction after Falcon Winter Soldier. They were going in a different direction for each character. Okay, so it kind of makes sense sense why they're not going to be in the same film. But, you know, he misses them, obviously. And thinks we could find a way from them being the film. But, there are, but you know, there, it's just how... It's, you know, it's, it's, they're going to end up together at some point, right? Right? You never know. You never know. They're going to end up meeting again. Okay. I don't know what else. Oh, right about that. Okay, another Marvel thing. Another Marvel thing. Okay, from Paul Wood. Of course, Paul Wood, this is an interview with Paul Wood. Of course, he's taking interviews out because of Ghostbusters out, is out yet. So he says, this is from Hollywood Reporter, Hollywood Reporter interview. He says he doesn't know when there's no idea 
He has no idea if another anime movie is going to be made. Okay? Then he says, I don't know. You have to ask Kevin Feige. Okay? So, he has no, like, so, Ant-Man 3 did not, did not go as well as Marvel Studios thought. They thought they were going to hit gold of Ant-Man 3. And what I mean by gold is not about money, even though they thought they kind of, kind of, thought it would make more money than it did. But, reception-wise, right? Uh, now, there was doing reports, rumors, the grain of salt, guys, that MF4 is not in the plan. I I can see that. I can see that. Because they thought MF3 was supposed to be leading them towards more of the multiverse stuff. Leading the big bad villain, Kang. Kang, more of Kang. Kang, the, vil the villain that the Marvel Studios is building up for the multiverse saga, phase four to six. Right, the villain they're building up. After seeing a version of him in Loki season one, about a year and a half, a year and a half, till till we get to see him again as Conqueror. And a lot of people didn't didn't like his Conqueror character. They thought he was um kind of buried a little bit. Right now, this is before Loki season two with with Victor Timely and and so on. Kang didn't sell. Obviously. But I felt like the, the obviously there was some stuff in the film. Like a lot of people did like Moldock called it low. And yeah, and the, the, the effects were ugh, were too obvious. Kang. Right? And it made less than 500 million. It made less than the previous two movies. Currently, 476 million. Did we, uh, I showed this on my last stream with Blinded, I think, on the X Men stream. Yeah, he doesn't know. Okay. Obviously, lucky. I don't think they're going to make an Ant Man 4. I don't. It's time to move on from that, man. I don't. I don't think they're going to do it. I think you might see Ant Man. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, they'll be in Avenger movies, but he's not going to. I don't think they're going to do Ant Man. Okay, so okay, I don't. Obviously, all these MCU actors have different movies. They doing, they don't know stuff. I agree, and also I think they know the MCU status, like where the MCU is right now, and they see the MCU like in disarray, kind of being disarray right now. They're like, "What's happening with my character? What's happening with them? I'm going to be like this." So they're taking other, they're taking other roles from other films because they're not sure. They're not sure what's the status of. Their MCU films, right? And right? Yeah, hundred percent agreed. Agreed. That's why. That's why. Uh, that's why. For that's why, um, Captain America has a fourth film because Winter Shoulder is was successful, right? Right. Civil War, and I know Falcon, uh, Captain America Four is a different Captain America. It's, it's Sam Wilson. 
But, but, that's why we're getting a fourth movie. And I'll say this. I know a lot of people, do, some people do not like Thor Ragnarok, and I know a lot of people that like Love and Thunder, but those movies made money. Not making a million dollars, made 700 to 800 million. They made money. Okay? Okay? The Marvels, on the other hand, the other. The other, the other, uh, the, the, the marbles on the other hand might be on the chopping block. And, Cap, I'll say this. If there are rumors about Miss Marvel Season 2, that might be on the chopping block after the marbles. Yeah, he is literally in the Thunderbolts. Yes, uh, uh, Bucky is, yeah. And is there opt-out clauses in in m movie contracts? He does have a sidekick. Yeah, we know. Look, yeah, he, he does have a sidekick. We know who he is. We've seen him in Falcon Under Shoulder. He doesn't need Bucky. No. Let Bucky go on to lead something else on his own. Go on his own, right? Let Sam have this. Let's. Not every Mac you have this, okay? Now, it's a big test for every Mackey as Captain America. It's a big test. It's a big test. Because we know, because we know this movie's been delayed a year. Initial testings were terrible. Stuff the stuff on the set not leaking out has not been not been Good. I'm not 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 what Doomcock said a month ago. I'm not saying that not because of Anthony Mackie. Doomcock doesn't know shit. That's on my other channel, guys. But we know this. We know they're doing reshoots now. They want this film to be successful because I think they need this film to be successful. Okay. Ugh. Oh no, Black Panther. Uh, I really don't know if they're gonna make a Black Panther three now. I really don't know. I mean, it made a lot of money, but I really don't know. And. I don't know the stats about the supposed of Black Panther spin-off shows. Uh, just because, like, to me, to me, there's been a lot of supposed of shows in development from Disney Plus and Marvel. But to me, I think some of them are on the chopping block. The ones that have not officially been announced or are supposed to be in the league are not officially announced. I think are on the chopping block. Because I do think they're going to... I do think over the years they are going to lower the the output of Marvel Z Plus shows, like Iger basically said. And they're kind of you're quite a thing the le less output of Disney Plus shows from Marvel. You only have Eyes of Wakanda cartoon. See, that's a little different, right? A little different. I mean, you know what I mean. See, we only have, we only had two shows come out last year, and we only have two shows coming out this year so far, right? We just got one out in January, Echo. Echo, we're getting Agatha. This it, it's September, October, but we don't know. But that's it so far. Next year, next year, Daredevil, maybe Ironheart. We know we could have got Ironheart, but Daredevil, Ironheart. Uh, I don't know what else. It's kind of thin right now on the Disney Plus shows. The years going forward, and I don't think it's. Dying, I just think it's gonna be less and less. Okay. And if you know, shooting show TV shows is a lot harder than shooting a movie. Right? 
Because in a movie, you know, you should, you, yeah, movies are cut down to two or three hours. See, exactly. See, they're cutting down. Thank you. See, gun is a blueprint. Not, not, not Saxon gun. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, so Who proposed it? Was it Gun or somebody else? What is my Okay. Schedules change. Yes. Yes, it's so true. Okay. Okay. Now, I'll be a bit. Uh, I'm excited for Deadpool and Wolverine. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think what happens, Chapak, pay Chapak probably till Friday to do all this, all this, all this, and it wasn't working. And Iger saw that, be like, I had to come back. I had to come back to Disney. I'll be right back, guys. Just look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Now. Now. Any probably speak, I made a mistake. Because let's be honest. Let's be honest. Iger is the one who recommended a cheap pack. Or cheap pack. Now. Besides, besides the parks making all that money for, for Disney. Because they do that. The majority of revenue. When you come from their... From their studio side of things, Marvel MCU was making the most money for them, right? Right, it was making the most money, drawing the most money, right? Probably, you would say, you would say, giving the most money more than Star Wars was. And I'm just talking, about, I'm just just talking about box office, and I was going to talk about merchandise and stuff like that. And Marvel, what do you think? Well, MCU, MCU, not exactly comic books. Um, the comic book side of things, not exactly. Was giving them money, huge amount of money. It was more of like the Marvel Studios stuff, but whatever. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's move on. Um, uh. You see, sometimes when you're successful in a lot of things, doesn't mean you're gonna be successful in another thing, right? <laughs> Bill Jack here with the New York Knicks. <laughs> yeah, George, that's for you, buddy. Wherever you are. Um, Ghostbusters Afterlife. I have not seen it. It's supposedly in the first day or wherever it makes through sixteen million, which is okay, I guess. It's gonna make I don't know, probably make like 
40 to 50 million over the weekend. I haven't seen a movie. I'll probably see it Tuesday. Uh, I know Corey to Campia. Now, I did not watch the video. I just saw the thumbnail. Campia said, not terrible, but it's time to retire to full-time path. So that means Corey Campia did not like the movie. And the move and yeah. Uh I still want to see it. I haven't seen it. I still want to see the movie. Okay. You know, I'm a big fan of the Ghostbusters. I've seen all the movies. And even 2016, I played the games, you know. The the 2008, 2009 game was really, really good. I caught the re I caught the sequel to the Ghostbusters too. It is basically a sequel. Play that game, it's really really good. Okay. Also, speaking of Campia, we're gonna, I'm going to do a stream on Campia t tomorrow. I'm going to do a on the dissect. We're going to talk about we're going to talk about his thoughts on the penguin trailer <laughs> and stuff. And also, also, we're going to look at Dog Walker, Nostalgia Critic. First time I've been a fan of Nostalgia Critic for a long time, but we're going to look at Dog Walker. Talk about X Men '97 because he does talk about X Men '97 and a positive light. But yeah, let's move on to none, I guess, tip, top notch pop culture stuff. Because uh, this might be a short stream. A little bit shorter stream. I honestly feel like my short streams are the better streams. As they drag on, I think the streams are not as good. Whatever, that's how I feel at times. Um, now this uh, this this caught me off guard. This caught me off guard because because Adam Sandler rarely does sequels, right? Rarely does sequels. In fact, the only thing I think he did a sequel for was Grown Ups Two. I don't know any other project he's worked on that has a sequel. But Adam Sandler really does re sequels, right? Especially his comedies, right? Really does sequels. Now, 97, 97, 96, 97. I love the movies Adam Sandler put out in, in, the, in, some of the nine, in the 90s. Billy Madison, Billy Madison, classic, right? I like The Water Boy, love The Water Boy. Right? But the one movie that people I think that love more than those two movies was Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore was the reason he deceased Carl Weathers, right? Carl Weathers and Bob Barker from The Price is Right. The famous fight scenes with um with Adam Sandler. Yeah, so Happy Gilmore. Such a great movie, great movie, great comic back in the 90s. Still watchable today, obviously, because it's funny. Okay, but, but... <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah. Now, so, Happy Gilmore is getting a sequel. Happy Gilmore 2 is coming to Netflix. Now, obviously, there's a reason why it's coming to Netflix, because Adam Sandler has a deal with Netflix, uh, right? He's produced a lot of his stuff on Netflix. Right? So, so a sequel to Happy Gilmore is coming out on Netflix. Happy Gilmore 2. Two. And I'm I'm I hope it's good. I love the first one. The thing is some of the stuff Adam Sandler does as Netflix has always been hit or miss, right? There's some good stuff and some really, really bad stuff. And to me, I feel like that's Adam Sandler's career in a nutshell with some of his films. I think he can make great comedies. I think he can make bad comedies. Two. And. And I hope. I, I hope. He can. 
We captured the magic for this film. We captured the Happy Gilmore magic for this film for the sequel. Because the first movie was great. Go watch it if you can. Did you know there was a time where Adam Sandler tried to become an action star? Yes, look it up. There was a time where Adam Sandler tried to become an action star slash comedy. It's called Bulletproof when he teamed up with Damian Reigns. Yes, it's true. He tried to become an action star. It's really yes. <laughs> he knows his audience, guys. All right, let's move on. All right, let's see what else. Uh, Open AI, Open AI has scheduled meetings with Hollywood studios and talent agencies to encourage filmmakers and studios to use AL, AI in their work. I said AL. So you heard it here. Remote control. <laughs> so yes, so Open AI has encouraged meetings with Hollywood studios and talent agencies to encourage filmmakers and studios to use AI in their work. Okay. You gotta be careful of AI, man. This. Okay. I. W I wonder how they're gonna, they're gonna have to, they're gonna have to, there's a lot of work to be done with this open AI in Hollywood. You're gonna have to get some assurance, some form of assurance that it's gonna be protected, they're gonna be protected. Well, it's actually in their work, right? Wait, let me read that again. Studio, okay, studios, right? And from according to the last labor agreement between the actors and studios, the actors did not get exactly what the, all of them not get exactly what they want from the AI, AI uh, issue. Whatever, right? AI. Ah, uh, so what else there is? Let me see. Let me see. Anything. I'm going to end it, guys. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. All right, B Final Fantasy 7 yesterday. We make. We birth. Good ending. Good game. Uh,. It's funny. There's multiverse in that game. Yeah, there's multiverse in the there's multiverse in, rea in different worlds, different realities in that game. <laughs> yeah. Um, Degrassi, you gotta play the first game and then play the second game. It's a really good game. Right now, right now, it's my leading candidate for game of the year. It's really, really good. It's it's better than any movies right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, but yeah. Uh, Tomorrow, there's a sec, man. Check it out. 
check it out. Check out my video from today. And uh, I'm gonna go watch March Madness. I know a lot of everybody's brackets has been broken. Because there's been a lot of upsets so far in, in March Madness. And I wonder if the Grassy's all uh all the matter. The Grassy's University is March Madness. I don't know where we wherever we went, I wonder if we're there in March Madness. <laughs> uh, <but laughs> Like, share, subscribe, and comment below, man. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Oh man. Short stream, guys. Thank you.